Hey guys, I don't have to keep bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, how to negotiate your salary. Um, obviously, if you're new to my channel, you to do rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So I want to go over how to negotiate your salary. The reason why I'm going over this is because when I was brand new to IT, and I'm specifically talking about me, because I've been in IT for a really long time. You guys don't know about me. I've been in tech for about eight years, roughly eight years. And the thing is, when when I was brand new, I didn't know any better. I didn't know how to negotiate my salary. So I screwed myself over at the beginning of being in IT. So I'm going to have a PowerPoint slide I want to go over. And then I want to go over uh, my tips and tricks and how to get a good salary if you're trying, trying to go into the job market or if you're trying to get another job, if that makes sense. All right. So let me share my screen with you and go over that real quick. So screen two. So yeah, salary negotiation. Go to the next one. So usually what I tell people to do, like, and this is talking about my students as soon as I train, and I'm going over it today on this YouTube video because I want to, I want to help everybody get, get the right salary, right? So do some research online using Payscale, Indeed, Salary.com. Know your value. So a lot of people downplay themselves, and they actually ask for a less amount of money because they're brand new to IT. They don't know any better, and basically they're like, oh, I, I, I'm going to ask for this amount of money because I just want to get a foot in the door, right? Like, I totally get it that it's important that you're trying to get a job experience, work experience. Sometimes you may need to take the job, sometimes you may not need to take the job. But the thing is, it's important that you know your value. Like if they're paying you way less than what's in the job market, like if you go to these websites, they pay you way less than that. I definitely would not do that job if that makes sense. So that's very important. Figure out the salary range by talking to the hiring manager or job recruiter. So some of these jobs, like if you go and work with a recruiting firm like Robert Half Technology, Mitchell Martin, Executive Search, et cetera, et cetera. They will give you a salary range and how much this, this job pays or that role pays. So if they give you a salary range, you already know what to go in with. I always go like in the middle. Like if it's like 20, $25 an hour to $35 an hour, I'll go like at $30 an hour. I'll go straight in the middle, somewhere in the middle. So then it's not too high, it's not too low. That's usually how I aim for my salaries. Um, be willing to walk away. Like at the end of the day, like this, if they're that, they're like super duper cheap and they're not paying you what you're worth, just walk away. At the end of the day, like you can always find another job that pays more. That's just, that's just how I look at it. I know, I know people will, I know like companies will look at me like, oh no, that's not, how can you say something like that? No, because if you're paying an employee really, really bad and you're not, you're not taking care of your employees at the end of the day, they're going to leave your job. They're going to leave that company because you're not, you know, you're not taking care of your employees. Like, really pay them what they're worth. Don't don't be cheap with them. It's just it's just the reality of jobs. Um, for me, talking about specifically me, I would ask for a ten to fifteen percent raise. That's just me. And obviously, if they don't have those things, they, they do have uh, other options like equity, time off, sign in bonus. Like, I would want something else if I didn't if I don't have the option to get that raise. If that makes sense. So like. If I go for a job right now and go apply for a job and it has like a sign in bonus, I'm definitely getting that job. If it has like stocks, if it has stocks guaranteed that I could use right now, I'm definitely getting that job. If they, if they, if they offer me more PTO, I have, you have to figure out and work around HR and figure out other benefits besides the money. There's, not, there's, there's, other, things, there's other ways to negotiate uh, for a job, there's other ways to negotiate money and other stuff. So that's very important to me. I go for 10, 15% raise because I wouldn't. Doesn't make any sense for you to leave a job if they're, they they get you a job and you got you're going for a new a new job and you're only getting two dollars an hour that makes no sense at all or one dollar more or two dollar raise or three dollar raise no it has to be a substantial raise for me with a promotion in a different role which I'm gonna talk about later on in the slide and that's very important for me that's just how I look at it you guys I don't know what you, you guys could decide what you want to do but that's just my personal experience. Salary history is not allowed to be asked in certain states. Like New York is one. I'm from New York. So keep in mind that some places are illegal to ask you to ask for your salary. They ask you for your salary history. You're not allowed to do that. It's illegal to do that according to certain websites, according to HR and stuff like that. According according to job recruiters, they should not be asking your salary range or, or not, not your salary. You shouldn't be asking your salary. You can give them a range, but they shouldn't be asking your salary. Like that doesn't make any sense. I'm going based on my experience. Okay. It's illegal. Uh, examples of answering salary. Like I, this is how I say it. I'm currently looking for X amount and Z salary range. Does that work with your company? Some job recruiters will give you a range right away. Figure out the company has stocks, certifications, certification reimbursement. Sometimes you can negotiate other benefits. Like I said earlier before, 
based on my research, I believe I should get paid, blah, blah, blah. So that's how I answer these questions. Like it really depends on on how you answer. I have like a like a like a formula when it comes to answering some of these questions because I don't want them low blow low 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 blowing, you know, like really not not paying me what I'm worth. Because when I started IT, I just took what I took whatever at the beginning of IT when I got my first job making nine dollars an hour. And after that, like I I go I started negotiating my salary after getting that work experience. After knowing what I'm worth, I'm like, I'm not worth nine dollars an hour. Like, Hell no. So then I went up to, to $22 an hour, then I went up to $35 an hour. And that's because I, I knew how to negotiate my salary. I knew what I was worth. So at the end of the day, figure out what your value is, figure out what you're worth. And don't don't get the don't get the first number that they give you, if that makes sense. You have to figure out the range and then go based on that. And then go 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 and ask for a certain salary range that makes sense. Like you don't want to get less than that, if that makes sense. All right. Salary negotiation. Be ready to say no. Sometimes you gotta say no. They, they give you an offer, and some companies can't offer you that money. They, you better you better off just walking away. Some companies will low pay you. I'm just I'm being honest with you. Like some of these companies are really messed up. Some companies will say we have an opportunity to grow and give you more money in the future. This may be true or may not be true. I still won't go for it. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Some companies will give you a low salary at the beginning to make you select that amount. That's just how they are. They 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 try to they try to downplay you. Never answer how much money you made in your previous role. So that's very important. Um, some tactics they use, like I I, I know that this has happened to me too. Um, sense of urgency, we are looking at other candidates right now. So you either want the job or you don't want the job. They make you feel obligated to sign the offer letter. It's happened to me, like literally like, like oh yeah, um, we, we wasted so much time on interviewing you, blah, blah, blah. You should, you should definitely take our position, blah, blah, blah. Um, the other one is, oh yeah, you you will have a uh, a significant impact on the company. You're gonna you're going to change the world. You're gonna you're gonna do something to impact the company, impact the world, impact the company stuff that they're doing. So basically, they're basically making you think that you you're very uh important in the company and stuff like that. Or they give you that take it and leave it. They'll give you this amount of salary. That, okay, either take the salary or we won't hire you at all. So some companies will do that. Unfortunately, I don't know why they do that, but it's very important that you you know your value. You know your worth and you extra right amount of salary. And I'm almost done. So the last slide is what I'm going to talk about. Uh conclusion. How do I negotiate my salary? Like I said, if is is the role the same role with more pay? Like if I'm going for this is specifically IT now. So not this is not anything but IT. If I'm working to help this job and I'm going for another help this job that pays more, why would I that doesn't make any sense, right? Why why I, I'm going sideways, right? Why would you go to another job? that pays a little bit more money for a help this role for the same role that you're doing already. It makes no sense, right? You're going, you're going sideways. It doesn't make any sense. I would go and look for a new role with more pay. It is a promotion. Like if I go, if I'm help desk right now, I would go for a network admin job. If I'm help desk right now, I would go for a sys admin job. If I'm help desk right now, I would go for a cybersecurity job. If you know that it's a promotion with new responsibility and better pay, I, I would go to that role. I wouldn't go for the same role with more pay. That doesn't make any sense. Unless for some reason you like that role or you're good at that role and you want to stay in that role and that makes that, that's okay with you. you, you go ahead and do that. I wouldn't do that. I would go and negotiate for a promotion for a different role and get that role and, and, and make sure it pays more, if that makes sense. All right. Research the company to see if they pay the pay is good and there's room to grow. So this is another one that I, I look at too when I'm brand, when I'm applying for jobs. Like if I go for a new role right now. And I go for this specific role right now. And this goes back to negotiating everything, right? Is there an opportunity to grow? Or is this role that I'm going to right now? It's just like the, it's just like the NOBO role. Like I don't have I don't have opportunity to grow. I'm gonna be stuck in this role forever. Like I look at that as well. Like, can I move inside of the, the departments of the company? Can I grow inside of the departments of the company? Like all that is very important for me because I don't want to be stuck doing the same role over and over again for 10 years, right? It doesn't make any sense. So if there's opportunity to grow, I will go to that job if that makes sense. Um, me, this is very this is specifically me again. This is if you don't care about this, it's all right, that's fine with me. But make sure the company has good work life balance. You can pay you can pay me all the money in the world, but if the company sucks. I I'm gonna I'm I, I'm getting I'm running away from that company. It's just a reality of, of me, Kevin. I'm human. Everyone's human. If the company sucks and they, their their work life balance is horrible, I don't want to work in that company. That's just that's just how it is for me. I'm going specifically based on my experience. Like you, you guys may not agree with me, but I look at work-life balance, and I also look at other stuff like the, the the employees, the team, 
the hiring manager, the man, if I'm cool with the manager, you know, all those things are very important to me as far as working a job. Like you give me, a, you give me all the money in the world, but if the company culture sucks, the people that I work with sucks, the company has no work-life balance and I'm working every day and I'm working on the weekends and every day and I'm miserable. I am not going to work in that company. That's just, that's just how I, that's how I see it. Um, and also really take the time to see if the company has a good opportunity to grow. Like I said, do they pay certification. Oh, most of my jobs I have worked in the past, they have never paid any of my certifications. Just so you guys are aware. That's why you, that's why, um, I only have one cert and it's expired because none of the jobs I worked before have, has, has ever paid any of my certs. Like the, the, my current job now pays for my certifications, but my previous jobs, they have done, none of them pay for my certification. So like. I literally make money and pay bills. That's it. I don't have money to, to buy certification or buy vouchers, right? It's expensive. So if some of these companies have that, they the, the luxury of paying for your search, you know, I'd, I'd say go, go for it. Take, take it, like do it, right? Make sure you have good work-life balance and make sure the benefits are there too. Like I, I care about work-life balance and PTO. Like I want to take some time off, you know, I don't want to be working every day with no, with no pay time off and no vacation. That would really suck for me. That's just the reality of what, how I look at things too. So it's very involved when it comes to negotiating salary. I'm going to stop sharing. It's very involved when it comes to salary negotiation. I look at the pay, look at the work-life balance, look at the managers, and look at the overall team, the company culture. All those things are very important. But also keep in mind that you want to make sure that your 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 value is you're, you're worth that value. Like you're actually, that money that you're asking for, you actually could do that. You can actually showcase that. You can't just ask for a certain amount of money and you don't know how to do any of the work, right? Like you really got to put, you really got to know your shit if that makes sense, right? If you're, when you're asking for these certain salaries, if that makes sense. But also don't low blow yourself. At the end of the day, don't low blow yourself. With that being said, I hope you have a good day. I hope this helps you out. This is my personal experience. Like 10 to 15% raise is good. 10 to 15% more is good. Make sure you don't ask for $2 or $3 raises. It doesn't make any sense, right? Um, with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace. Bye.